Okay, I have learned that my video goes live much quicker than it actually tells me I'm going live. So I've learned to start talking much sooner. Hi, welcome to Swatchfest. I'm opening a package from Cuticula, which I think I purchased about three weeks ago. Um, aw, pretty. Cuticula has one of the, I think she's in like the top five for polish pickup this month. Really cute um, blue polish. I picked it up and it has glitters, I think some flakies, and it's really, really pretty. So if you haven't tried this brand yet, you might want to snag her polish pickup. It looks really cute. Um, I think this is her old bottle too. I think she uses a circular bottle now. Hi guys, hi everybody. Come on in, settle on in. Welcome, welcome. Make sure you have a live chat at the top of your video, not top chat. Let's open these lovelies. So I went to the polish, uh, to the website to get this lovely Olive Grunge, the Olive Polish Facebook group custom which is run by my friend Jaylin and um, her buddy. And this just looks so beautiful. So we'll probably swatch this first. I'm excited for that. But Cuticula was the guest maker, I think in J January, February. Hi everybody, welcome, welcome. You got it and the bluebird, huh Lizzie? Liz, Lizzie? And then she recently released um, this collection, Silent Princess Kingdom of Legend. I forget what the theme is for this. Um, but they all have the same formula, so that it's filled with gold flaky and then hollow, um, hollow micro flakies, and then they have different colors. And I picked up three. So I grabbed the turquoise one, a tealy one, and then I also grabbed the Oh, I thought they had, oh, these are from two different collections. Oh, that's why. This is all the from the All Is Found collection. This is Water Knock. And this one has metallic silver flakies and then blue purple fuchsia um, flakies in there as well, Water Knock. And then this one's another one from the Kingdom of Legend collection. And this one is the purple one, and this is called Great Fairy. So that's my cuticula haul. So we'll put these in the bin, the Swatch Fest bin. I was watching, um, my nails have kind of just had it, especially like I just recently dyed my hair. And so it's green back here, which is funny because of the green screen. Um, it's actually like a teal color, but running my fingers through it the past few days while the dye is still really fresh has like greenified my nails, like incredibly so. So they need some help. Hey, welcome, welcome Barb, welcome everybody. Hey Heather, hey Marjan, hey Desiree, Katya, Welcome, you guys. So, this is our second Swatch Fest of February. No, this is our first Swatch Fest of February, right? And if you are new to my channel, let me tell you what's up today. So, old Swatch Fest, we would swatch a polish in each color of the rainbow. And about, it's been a little over a year um, that we switched to this style of Swatch Fest where we swatch some random polish and give lots of polish away. So you have the chance to enter five giveaways today. You're gonna to need to use the chat function of your video. You're gonna be entering a number between one and 100. You're trying to get the closest to the random generated number as you can without going over. You may only enter one number for each of the five giveaways. You can use the same number or switch, it doesn't matter. But please only enter one time. For each giveaway, you're gonna be entering a number after you see me type the word go 
and it has to fall between my typed word go and my typed word stop. And in the case of a tie, we'll go after majority win. So after the giveaway has closed and I announce the winning number, you're gonna look back through the comments and see who got the closest without going over. Hey everybody, all the peeps are here. Hi, Christina. So um, these giveaways are open internationally. You are gonna to need to be giving me your address so I can send polish to you. You're going to email me after you know you've won. Email me sometime this week. It doesn't have to be today, but um, email me at moonshinemannycontact at gmail.com. That email is also in, it's, is it listed below? It's not listed below. The P Moon Nails one is. But um, it's also on my website if you can't remember it, but you're going to email me and let me know your today is going to be top three choices. Surprise! For each giveaway, you get to pick three polishes today. You're going to tell me your top three options, and then uh, you got to tell me your address so I can send it to you. And you need to be subscribed to the channel in order to enter. You need to be 18 years or older to play because you have to give me your address. So either be 18 years or older or have um, your parents' permission to play. Let's all please keep it fair and only enter once per person. I've been receiving emails lately that there are there are four. Um, there's a person who is using four separate usernames to take away your chances to win by giving themselves four chances to win. Thank you, Janet, for putting that on there. I don't know um, if that's you and you're doing that. I don't know if you feel very good about it, but I would appreciate you giving everybody else a fair option by not creating multiple <laughs> usernames for free polish because free polish is really cool but more cool than free polish is the love that we share in this community so let's keep it cool and let's keep it super loving and fun and uh, keep our family vibe here so you finally have sun but it's negative eight degrees jody that's horrible i'm sorry um so i'm not going to call those people's names out but i have my eye on you because I've received, I've been notified via Instagram and email that you have four accounts. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. The, oh, I gotta find out what our first giveaway is gonna be. Um, and you are a person who has won many, many times via your four accounts. So if that is really true, I would appreciate you being a little bit more honest with your fellow polish loving peeps. All right, so let's get down to business. Just kidding, okay. Um, where? Okay, where did we end up last time? Oh, let me just go over really quick. <laughs> let's go over our minutes from last time. Okay, I got, I heard from Jerry and Wendy and Leanne Angel. So Marlene, I need to know what your picks were for last week's KB Shimmer and Victoria B. If you're here, I need to know what your picks are. If you already emailed me and I didn't send you stuff, it's because I didn't f get your emails. So please just email me again. Sometimes the internet lets me have your emails. Sometimes they don't. Hi everybody. Thanks for coming. Hi Hannah. Hey Chantel, Nicole. Is it Camry? I want to be able to say your name right. Kimry. That's my, that's my guess. <laughs> hey, Amy. All right, so uh, Marlene and Victoria, I need you to email me again. Let me get a new notepad out for today. And we are on February 6th. Wonderful. Now, what will our first, oh, yes, I was trying to figure out what our last giveaway was. We did KB Shimmer, Clarissa Carol. Okay. All right, that means that we're on to the Essie Valentine's Day Collection. I've been extending these giveaways to go to mainstream as well because the first week that I did that, you guys were down for it. Um, so we're going to continue doing that unless you guys don't want to. But that means that today we're going to do Essie Valentine's. Color Club Halo Jewels, Essie Gel Couture, Glam Polish for the new Glams, and Top Shelf Lacquer. And we could probably throw a fifth, a sixth one in there and do a grab bag. So that's what we're going to be giving away today. 
If that sounds fun to you, then this is the right video for you. Okay, so the Essie Valentine's collection was this one. So it's a very limited edition and it had some really pretty things in there. I liked it quite a bit. So you get to pick three. You get to pick three items from each of the giveaways today. So hard decisions to make, but you shall make them. I believe in you. Okay, so here is my go. You're waiting to see me type the word go, and then you are gonna enter your number one between one and 100, and I'm gonna swatch some pretty polish. So I'm gonna swatch the Olive Grunge Polish from Cuticula. And this has like gold glitters, it has gold to green flakies, I'm seeing pink in there, this just has everything, so I'm so excited. I think the window to be able to shop this though is over, sadly. So I hope you got it if you're an olive polish lover. If you didn't get it, you olive polish lover you, I have an olive polish in polish pickup this weekend, by the way, which was not actually, I just thought of that out of the top of my head. What I was going to finish that sentence with is, if you didn't get this polish, go join the Facebook group, the olive polish Facebook group, because in that group, like whenever a member is wearing an olive polish, they'll post it in the group and then let you know where you can snag it if you want to. And then swatchers will often post um, polishes in your particular interest in that group too. So you can see what the next custom being made for the group is in there. You can also get the word on new olive polishes. Olive and green together is so, so fun. Or pff, olive green and pink together is so, so fun. That's what I was trying to say. And there's a lot of pink in here. And I needed more cuticula in my life. So that was a good opportunity for me to snag some. Next up. Oh, I did green first. So that means I need to switch over to something in the beginning of the rainbow. Let's swatch this one. This one's been sitting in my swatch has been forever. This is Tony from Zoya. Zoya Tony. Oh, yes. Louise isn't feeling well today. So thank you for the reminder. Let me go back here and make sure the comments are cleared. Oh, it didn't hold any of your comments today. Well, that is fantastic. Okay, so Tony is like a brownish burgundy, and I think it's gonna go well with this. Okay. Oh, it's very deep. If I am careful, maybe I can get it in one coat. Whenever I swatch an older Zoya, I just it makes me remember how much I like their new ZY brush. And they do have all those new polishes launching. Um, yeah, look, one coat, Tony. Anybody here with the name Tony? And have you yet to find your name be made on a polish from Zoya? They did, they did have a Zoya Phoebe polish, but it's been discontinued, but I snagged it before it was gone. And it is so cool. It's a teal matte polish. Tealy blue. Okay. First, yes, Missing Louise, yes. Everybody can DM her on Instagram and <laughs> say hi, I bet she'd love that. Okay, so there's your stop. And the first winning number is... Okay. 85! 85! Hello, Electron Blue Pearl. Hey, Yvette. They finally did yours. No, Francesca. Francesca. They finally did yours last spring, says Yvette. Is this the same color of a Boston baked bean? Cheryl, you are hilarious. It is um, more, slightly more plummy than a Boston. Like, there's a little bit more. It kind of does look like a kidney bean, though. I think Boston baked bean, I'm thinking of like the cooked bean, but it actually does look just like a kidney bean. You don't think your name will ever be a Zoya polish? Maybe one day. They do some really interesting names. Your first name is Kristen, but I've yet to buy it. I'm collecting the Zoya name. Aww, named after your pet. Okay, I'm going to do the second coat of the Olive Grunge while you guys look and tell me who came to closest to 85 without going over. This one is glorious. 
This polish is like, it, like for me, it looks like a toy box. <laughs> There's so many different fun colors in here, but like all of the things make me want to play. And it's not too like cacophonous that I'm thinking, ah, I'm going to go crazy with all the wildness on my nail. Quila, Quila, do you already have that collection? Tell me you don't already have it. Quila, do you see that you're the winner? You found it in a D stash, Liz. That's perfect. Hey, George. You've gotten the Wendy from Zoe, but you haven't worn it yet. Girl, wear it and then show me. Tika won't be on there. Maybe. Helena, they don't have a Helena yet. They should. That is such a classic name. I love it. Quila, congratulations, my dear. Let me write you down. Unless, hi, Kim. Okay, you don't have it. Perfect. Okay, so Essie Valentine's Day is Quila. Yay. Okay, the next giveaway is going to be... The, oh, those Color Club Halo hues, Halo jewels. These are good, you guys. So this will give somebody a chance to try three of these. Um, you're going to love them. They're perfect, beautiful quality, and um, you can get these at transdesign.com. Even at a discount, these are $9 a piece, like $9.50. They're one coat, super linear hollows. They're great. So that's the next giveaway. Giveaway numero. Hey, Kelly. Welcome. Lisa, hi. I feel like they probably have a Lisa. Gloria found Zoya Gloria in a D-stash. Fantastic. <laughs> Quayla, my autocorrect wants to type quilt. I bet she gets that a lot. All right. Hi, Julie. Hey, Tracy. Hey, and Carla's here. Okay, so next giveaway is going to be for the Color Club Halo Jewels. I want to swatch more things, so I'm going to take these off before I hit go. Last week, I zoomed through these giveaways, and I had only swatched, like, it felt like three polishes. I mean, I know I did more than that, but. And I didn't do a second coat of Tony. Whoops. Zoya Tony. I have a friend named Tony spelled just like that, actually. Back in California. Lumi says hi. Hi, Kelly. So good to see you. Okay, wait. Don't put your number in yet. You got to wait till I type, I type go, okay? Just a second. I'm taking off my nail polish first. There was a lot of glitter in that olive. Just a second. Okay. Until it figures out Quila is my name. Here, guys, I type multi-chrome on my phone a lot. My phone still hasn't figured out that multi-chrome is a word. I mean, clearly it's a word. It just keeps wanting to type multiverse. It keeps wanting to type multiverse, which is also very cool, but not the word I'm trying to type. Okay, there is your go for the Color Club Halo Jewels. Let's pick another polish. Let's do, ooh, let's do Glorious to Carol Santa's bag. This is a, sh oh, it's a magnetic. Do I have a magnetic on here? Ah, I took it upstairs because I was testing out magnetic pigment. Okay, sorry, Santa's bag. We can't do you yet. We have to wait. We're going to do what a relief from a different dimension. My thumbnail is looking crazy. Let's just take that off. I had it on one coat of Angie's Next Polish Pickup and didn't second coat it and then my finger got covered in paint from making polish and then, you know, that's how the story goes. Okay. Kim says, Zoya has a Lisa. It's a garnet red shade. Awesome. Okay. So this is What a Relief from Different Dimension and I got it like... I feel like I got this one a long time ago, but she has these beautiful fall shades in a trio, I think. There's like a olive green, this color, and a squash orange, and it's just to die for. It's so yummy, and this shade of red is 
gorgeous. And it's so buttery. It's so nice to work with. Mm, that is nice. Nice, nice, nice. She might still have this on there. If she does, get the whole trio because she has it. It's like um, it's a separate price for her creams, I believe. And it's really cost effective <laughs> to buy them, I feel like, as a trio. And they're all three of them fantastic. Is, multi is a multiverse multichrome a different color in each universe? <laughs> Janet, now I want to name my next multichrome multiverse, though. That's what I want to do. Okay, next, let's do... Oof, you guys, these bins are just getting too full here. Another magnetic. I can't, I can't, where are you, magnetic? Let's do this one. This is Salute. This is the seventh anniversary polish from Alchemy Lacquers. Alchemy Lacquers had a seventh anniversary. Happy anniversary. I just picked this up because it was a beautiful purple with red to green shimmer in the base and looked divine. You have that tree and it's amazing. Hi, Linda. So good to see you. Hey, Cami. Jesse says, nice red. You ain't kidding. Yes, yes, yes. Is that a watermelon shade? Mmm. No. It's more red than watermelon, I would say. I mean, of course, watermelon is also red, but it's watermelon's lighter, I think. Let's do Alchemy Lacquer Salute. Did you guys all get a bottle of the... <laughs> what is the brand name that sold out 1,200 bottles of their polish pickup on the first day? Holy cow, I saw that cap. I remarked about it the other day. It must have been yesterday, in yesterday's videos, and I thought... She sells 1,200 of this. That is going to take so long for her to make that. I mean, it was probably by far the coolest polish in the whole month. So maybe every single person purchased it. I know I did. But now I'm feeling kind of bad that she has to make 1,200 bottles of that. What? Did you all get your bottle of it? <laughs> um, Shelly, what is the trio called? Sorry. Does anybody who says that they purchased that trio, do you guys remember what the trio was called? So I can keep swatching instead of looking it up because that is a good question. I am going to type stop now. You guys are so chatty today. I'm so happy. Thanks for coming. I missed you guys so much. Okay. The second giveaway for the Halo Hues is going to the person who put the number in the closest to 14. 14. I know, and oh my gosh, it is so magnetic. She probably had to purchase so much of that. I don't know how she purchased enough to make 1,200 bottles, but I mean, I'm really excited for her that she sold that many because that mean, means that many people more know about her brand, which is fantastic. I believe it's a maker from Brazil, which is even more fantastic. And um, out 1,200 people get to wear that beautiful polish and magnetize, but it's a lot of work. <laughs> I'm sure she has helpers. So this glorious red, in case you're wondering, is what a relief. What a relief. Mm -hmm. And over here on these fingers, we have Alchemy Lacquer Salute, which I'm going to guess is probably not available anymore because this is her fourth or seventh anniversary polish, not fourth seventh and it is beautiful and I like it with the red I really like it so if you like classic film I was telling everybody in one of my videos this week about this YouTube channel that I love called be kind rewind and she does video essays on classic film specifically women in classic film and it's just I love it it's so nice I'm learning so much and I love her style of writing slash you know reading what she wrote and it's just super super delightful so if you need a new YouTube channel to binge I recommend it okay so we have Tammy Tammy do you see that you're the winner Tammy Tammy Okay, it's gonna be Tammy, wonderful. Okay, let me put this down. Tammy is getting some 
Color Club. Wonderful. Tammy, is this your first time winning? Okay. I believe the different dimension trio is called Be Nice or Leave, says Vinda. <laughs> Vinda. <laughs> My mic's are calling you Vinda because that's really fun. Linda. Yay, Tammy, and yay, Linda. <laughs> um, the alchemy is gorgeous. That's a brand you wanted more of. Yeah. I don't know if she will restock. I don't know. That sounds like... I feel like at that number, you probably need to make up that many and then see if you have any more, you know? Um, okay. Hey, Sue. All right, next one, giveaway number three. Okay. Giveaway number three. Do you guys want to do another essay or should we skip that one? So we just did essay. Let's skip that one. Let's move on to the Glam Polish Goddess Collection. Does that sound good? The Glam Polish Goddess Collection looks like this. Unless a whole bunch of you say, no, we want the SC Gel Coutures. Um, they were, I, I liked this collection. The formula of them are all amazing. They're not like super exciting colors, although that green is bomb.com. Um, but if you guys want, we'll do a giveaway for this too. I was going to skip to this because this is a lot more exciting. The Goddess Collection is on the top and then all of the Valentine's Day colors are below that limited edition, val the Valentine's event. That's what we're going to do right now. Kathleen says skip. Okay, I got you. Just got noticed your Polish Gamers order ship. Really? Not me yet. I ordered that adorable little magnet. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so you're going to enter an hour for glam right now, okay? On your marks, get set, go. While you guys are entering numbers for this, I'm going to talk to you guys about um, some new Moonshine Manny that's coming up next Friday. So I was just kind of trying to move a little bit over to the house at a time. Oh, this time it's holding numbers. Let me fix that. I've been trying to hold, whoa, that's a long scroll. I've been trying to move over a little bit over to my house at a time. And basically my entire living room and kitchen is taken up by Moonshine Manny right now because it doesn't have its own space in this house, but it will when we move. And I just, once a couple times every year, I notice that I have a lot of protos that built up and I decided that we're going to have some more small batch polishes launch this next Friday with the new collection. So. February's collection is Primetime Lovers Part 4. This time we have three, four new couples in Part 4. We have Carrie and Big from Sex and the City. We have Mike and Phoebe from Friends. We have Anna and Mr. Bates from Downton Abbey. And we have Egret and Jon Snow from <laughs> The Game of Thrones. Um, so they're going to be in the Primetime Lovers collection. That collection will be around for a little while. Also, the new um, Project Dupit is launching on Friday. Let me show you. Let me get my nails clean and then I'm going to show you real quick. So, very excited for these fun new shades. Okay, so I based my Project Dupits off of you guys' request. There is a Dupit request in the Moonshine Manny group. I cannot get my hands on Clarins, the Clarins polish that you want me to dupe. That is overwhelming, like a huge number of you want me to dupe that. I, I can't find that to dupe it, you guys. So a dupe for that would be like my best guess kind of situation. There's another one in there that I don't think I'm ever going to get my hands on. Um, I can't think of it right now. Anyway, a lot of you for spring, I've been saving this for spring wanted me to do China Glaze Budding Romance. So this is a very oozy, uh, mossy green with a squishy Crelly to Cream formula. This is Build Me Up Buttercup. You guys helped me name this um, like a month ago. 
So this is coming next Friday. This has cream formula price, which is $8 coming on Friday. That's the project do bit. And then I'll just show you these little duos really quick. So for Anna and Mr. Bates from Downton Abbey, we have actually two quotes that are from Mr. Bates. So we have however, whatever, whenever, and we have I miss you when you're out of sight. And so each of the duos in this collection, they have the same formula, so they go together. So these two are mauves, and one has these um, kind of more mermaid scale flakies in it. And then this one, the lighter version, has like my favorite flaky right now, which is the pink to orange flaky. So that's for Anna and Mr. Bates. Carrie and uh, Mr. Big are similar in formula to Dream Baby. If you took Dream Baby and mixed it with um, Mike and Bezaquil, that's what formula these are. So they have micro hollow glitters and then they all they each have like a, a sparkly element. This one has an iridescent blue, which isn't popping in these lights. But this one is can't live without each other love. That's a Carrie quote. And then this is um, has the wrong label on it. That was a proto label. This is actually you're the one. <laughs> and this is the Mr. Big one. I was thinking in my head the other day, I was like, that's not right. That is not a Mr. Big quote. That is something from something else. So we went with Mr. Big and Carrie on this. So um, they have the same formula, different color, and this one has micro purple flakies in the base. That makes that one twinkle. And then for um, Egret and Jon Snow, we have Kissed by Fire for Egret and You Know Nothing Jon Snow, because of course, you know, I had to name it that. So this, these two are similar to the scintillating formula, to the Groundhog Day formula. This one is a very light version of the Groundhog Day formula, this time with a purplish blue to um, pink and um, gold um, shimmer in the base. And then this one has the pink to gold to green um, shimmer in here in a rosy peach base. That is for Egret and Jon Snow. And then the bonus add-on is a topper, and it's a gold flaky topper for Mike and Phoebe, and it says, every day with you is an adventure. It doesn't want to, there we go. Um, and it has the pink to orange flakies in there as well. So that's for Mike and Phoebe from Friends. And we need to pick a winner before I lose the comments. So let me say stop really quick. Okay, so look, before we lose the numbers, look for the person winning glam polish will be the closest to 100 without going over. Like, wait a second, <laughs> you can't go over 100. So <laughs> if anybody picked the closest to 100, basically, if somebody picked 100. Hey, Marlene, Marlene, I think you're somebody that I need an email from. Marlene. Yes, Marlene, if you emailed me about KB Shimmer, I need you to email me again. Okay, so our glam winner, we're about to announce that. So anyway, that's the Primetime Lover Collection. It's launching on um, Friday, well as, uh, well as the Project Dupit Shade. And then the... Um, the ten dollar project or ten dollar small batch polishes. Now these each have between about fifteen and twenty bottles a piece available. So it's going to be very similar to the when I did these um, for Black Friday. And if you're getting three or more, then it makes them just nine dollars a piece. Do we have a winner? We have Jesse. Perfect. Yay! Congrats to Jesse. So these polishes were named by Tim and Honor and Joy, okay? So this one is a teal with lots of hollow. It has flakies that are shifting blue to purple to pink, and it has shimmer that's going in the same shift, and this one's called Be Your Heart. And then we have You're So Fine You Blow My Mind, which is another holographic, but this is a holochrome. This has multi-chrome shimmer that's shifting. I think this one is the one that goes raspberry gold to green. 
and it's in a deep plum base filled with hollow as well and it also has flakies this time um, the orange red orange gold green so that's you're so fine you blow my mind Tim named this one Tim took French in high school I did not but he tells me that this means I love your face so it's j'aime ton visage I'm sorry I told him I said I can't name it since something French I'm gonna butcher it yay congrats to Jesse hey Yvette we'll see you next time Jesse is it your first time winning um, so <laughs> this is I love your face, I guess. And this one is a white base curly and it has raspberry, blue, purple, uh, micro flakies, some red micro flakies, and it has, um, pink, gold, green flakies in the base. Um, Honor named this polish, Hey There Barbara. This is one of my favorites. I love it so much because it's this purpley gray base and then it has, um, like a purple to blue to teal shift in the base. And then it has those pink, gold, green flakies again. It also has some purple glitters in there. And that's called Hey There, Barbara. And then uh, Joy named this Fish Are Friends, Not Food, which you probably know what that's from. And it just, she put some fish scale. Joy actually helped me make this. She said, Mom, let's make a fishy polish. And then we did. And then I didn't actually end up using it for anything. But it's so, so cute, and it has fish scale colored flakies in the base. It has this light blue-green base, and then as you can see, it has some like pastel orange glitters. It has green glitters. It has turquoise metallic flakies. Uh, Baby Bluebird was named by Honor, and this one is kind of like a bluebell base. It has black um, square glitters in it. It has the pink to orange iridescent flakies. It has white glitters in it and tiny, tiny yellow glitters in it. This one was named by Joy. This is called Sprinky Pink. And this one is um, a multi-chrome with Aurora Chrome. Basically, it's a high, high shimmer shift. So you're getting this raspberry shimmer or this raspberry shimmering primarily it moves through purple it moves through copper gold green and it just gives like a really uh bright flare on the nail and last up this was named by tim and this is purple source rex and this one is a lovely purple base with um like a green gold blue shimmer and it has blue purple pink flakies i think there's actually two kinds of flakies in here iridescent ones and it has gold flakies so that is all my news i know that's a lot of stuff but um i guess february was kind of like a clearing out month for me as we're getting ready to actually physically move we're trying to be there by honor's birthday which is on the 21st so okay let's move on <laughs> jesse let me write your name down all right the next giveaway is going to be for Top Shelf Lacquer Pints to Remember collection. So if you came to this video, I have like half of that collection. There are three toppers and a bunch of cream polishes, and there are even more colors than what's in that video on the website, but if you're the winner, you can pick three things from that um, collection, and there's your go. Okay, back to swatching I go. Hi, Stephanie. Hey, Leah. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Let's see, something, let's swatch this one. This is Psy from Polish. Ooh, it makes you sigh, it's so beautiful, is basically, probably how it got named. Let me just approve these comments really quick before I start swatching. Thanks everybody for coming today. It's so good to hang out with you. Hey, Talia. Hey, Isla. Seeing you guys all here as I'm approving the comments. We almost got them approved. Hey, Gail. You guys didn't write anything inappropriate. YouTube just starts to hold my comments when they see too many numbers going on in the comments. I don't know why. Okay. Yes, this gold glow. Super awesome, right? That's why I bought it. So let's swatch it. 
Okay, ooh, it is very like dripping with gold kind of vibe as I take it out of the bottle too, wow. This is kind of like a pearl finish, I would say. That's how much, how dense the shimmer is next to each other. So it looks like she's probably taken like a pearl gold shimmer and then put some pink in there and wow, it looks cool. So cool. Let's, it's like a goldish green pearl shimmer and I am loving it. I don't know if this is currently available on the website, but it's really kind of special. Le Sai, just kidding, it's just Sai. But now I wanna say Le Sai. Okay. This one takes more focus to apply. It's trying to get away from me. Ooh, that is so pretty. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> we could have called this polish wow, 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 wow. This is Sai from Polish. I would love this shimmer in like every color. I need to go back to her website and see if she has a bunch more in that with that shimmer in it because that's cool. You need to hit stop already, do I? I'm going to give it like another minute. You haven't worn a polish with a pearl finish in three years. Well, this one might be time to make the exception. Okay. Um, oh, I saw a polish in here I've been meaning to try for a minute. Let me try to snag it. Okay, here it is. Journey to the Past from Hella Handmade Creations from by Danny Vienna. I have keep seeing this in the bin and I just haven't been snagging it and I needed to. I don't remember if this is a thermal, but if you guys really like this today, her polish pickup this weekend, I think looks pretty similar to this, but it is a thermal. On Friday, Julie, um, everything always goes live on Friday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And don't forget, you, don't, you need no code to save the 10%. That is just something that gets automatically applied. There's something on the brush. If you're getting three or more bottles and, um, yeah, that will stack to with the um, polish pickup code if you have purchased a polish pickup from me recently. Um, basically with codes or for group members, the um, YouTube channel members. Wow, this is opaque. I'm just kind of like taking my breath away a little bit, especially because I love this combo together. These two polishes literally go perfectly together. Um, Group members, your codes work too. All you have to do is tell me your YouTube channel member um, level in the comments of your order. And that money just comes right back to you. Look at how opaque this thing is. It's so opaque. Let me push stop. Um, it's so opaque, yet I can still see the flakies. It is so gorgeous. I'm so glad I grabbed this one. By Danny Vienna from the um, November Hella Handmade Creations. Wow. So anyway, her polish pickup right now, I believe, has a very similar look than this, but it's a thermal. So it's going to go to like a light or clear base when you're warm. I know, Yvette. Isn't it awesome? It's so awesome. Okay, I'm going to do a second coat of this one. This one isn't needed. I'm going to save my polish, but this one, do a second coat. Okay, the winner of the Top Shelf Lacquer Polishes is, okay, we were at 100 last time. This time, 41. 41. Oh, thanks, Marlene. 41. So you're looking for the closest to 41 without going over. And don't forget this week you're picking three polishes instead of two. Surprise! Choose three and I will send you three new polishes to add to your collection and hopefully brighten your week. And I'm in love with this polish. The formula is a little thick, I think, due to how dense this pearl finish is. But once you got it on there, good golly, Miss Molly. 
It is really fantastic. I'm sitting here thinking, <laughs> I kind of don't want to swatch more polish because I just want to leave this on all day. But I know that I'm going to be mixing polish and my nails are going to get all kinds of crazy after this anyway. So I will say so long to this duo, but I love it. Liz Lizzie, fantastic. Hi, Diana. Hey, Nicole. Good to see you. Liz Lizzie is the winner. Congrats, Liz. All right, this is for top shelf. Maybe you can, tr maybe this will be new polishes to you. I don't think this brand is as um, maybe widely shopped as some of the others, but she is fantastic and her cream formula is amazing. Sorry, my fingers are on the screen. Probably driving some of you nuts. Liz Lizzie, making somebody nauseous for sure. Okay, so let's do a Moonshine Manny giveaway. And if you would like to choose from the small batches before they even go live, you may do that if you would like to. Or you can choose from the new polishes launching in the Primetime Lovers collection, or you can choose any other two things on the website. Guys, don't forget about the um, Mystery Polish Overpour. That has, I think, six different items in it right now. It has... Um, the pink holographic get back up again it has take nothing for granted it has flower power it has um the sky is falling and how lovely are their branches just a few of those two but it has six items in it right now so don't forget about that if you're interested in any of those the mint chip ice cream is so good huh okay so i'm gonna say go again real quick we'll go with the moonshine manny giveaway and um yeah oh, i have to take these off Ugh. no okay i have lots of things to swatch for next week so i know i'm not gonna be able to keep them on anyway so long farewell Oof. got something in my mouth Good morning. <laughs> that's really obnoxious sorry okay speaking of that be kind rewind channel i was watching um a thing about julie andrews and how she won the oscar for her performance in um mary poppins right but she was passed over for her role in this channel this youtube channel is really making me feel like i should read more Biographical fiction and pff, not by bi biographical nonfiction. <laughs> um, maybe there's such a thing as biographical fiction. I don't think so. Um, anyway, how she was passed over for the role by uh, Mayer, the the guy who um, ran MGM, even though she's the one who originated the role on Broadway. And it was given to Audrey Hepburn, who I also love, and, you know, Hollywood royalty, instead of Julie Andrews, who then went on to win the Oscar that year for her role in Mary Poppins. The whole thing is just so interesting to me. I love it. Yes, R.I.P. Christopher Plummer. Thank you for saying that. Oh. And I'm going to go watch um, a few of his movies this weekend, I think. And I'm going to start back up with Knives Out. And maybe I'll go in reverse. That sounds like a good plan to me. Oh. I'm really sad, I'm really sad. I've been thinking about so many great classic film legends who are reaching that age in their life and they're about to, you know, move on and it's it's sad. Anyway, sorry. Um, only one number per game, no change in your number. Yep. Um, the re <laughs> yeah, Liz, that is true. This one's going to be a quick giveaway, so like... 20 more seconds. Okay, um, what did, we didn't do orange today. We didn't do orange. Let's do this glisten and glow. It's gonna be legend, wait for it, dairy. It's gonna be legend, wait for it, dairy is the name of this polish. And I don't know if it's, whoa, why are you having such a, 
column. It is a kind of sherbet orange with a strong blue purple shimmer. And I have no idea if this is still available. I probably purchased it during Black Friday. But I did pick up the Glisten and Glow this month. Um, most of the other brands that I shopped from this month were lesser known to me. I tried to snag that damn polish. <laughs> That's funny, actually, that it's named that. So that when you say that one polish by that brand damn, you can just say that damn polish. Um, but it was sold out when I got there. But I did snag a few brands that were brand new to me. So I was excited about that. But I also did get this because <laughs> it was like a neon fruit punch with like Hawaiian colored flakies is how it felt to me. And it made me feel really happy when I looked at it. And I figure that's kind of the point of polish, right? Let's get stuff that makes us feel happy. Okay, there's your stop. Oh, Nicole, you got your number in just in time. Fantastic. Okay, this one's for MSM. If I say MSM, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. The MSM winner is going to be closest to 40. 40? 41 and then 40. I know, bite size me too. I think if we stop, it was right above there. Ooh, Gloria says her damn polishes. <laughs> it's so fun to say. Uh, just kind of rolls off is glorious that's what she says hmm. time to pick a polish oh hello this is an essie polish called congrats let's swatch it it is oh screwed on really tight it is a silver shimmer base with pink black and silver and blue glitters. That's fun. Okay. Pretty. Is this like their birthday polish or something? Okay. It's going to be cute. It's going to be legend dot dot dairy. That was the name of this one. It's going to be legend dot 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 wait for it dairy. Do we have a winner? Oh, yeah, Sarah. Hey, it looks like we have Vicky. Vicky is the winner with 39. Fantastic. Quila says this glisten and glow is still available if you're interested in it. Quila, that is so helpful. Thank you. Okay, congrats to Vicki. And our last giveaway is going to be a random grab bag giveaway. So let me grab bag us some stuff. Let's get down to business. To defeat. Wow, I actually swatched two polishes that are really similar to each other. I didn't even realize that. My bad. Sorry, guys. We didn't swatch any blue. Did we? Sorry. Okay, to defeat the Huns. Ha! Got it, good. Here's your grab bag. We have Night Owl Lacquer of a Feather, which is this gorgeous taupe with blue, teal, and gold flakies in there. We have Glam Polish Books and Cleverness, which is a deep, deep blue, I believe, if I'm remembering that right, with green, purple, and blue flakies. We have Respect Your Purpose from Native War Paints, and this has a shift that goes green, gold, pink. I think there's even some blue on the edge. Really pretty from the Utopia collection. Cooler Carol gives us this divine. Aw, thanks, Kate. 
It was telling me that I needed to try to show your comment, but I thought we had another number. Um, this is this divine berry and it is called Clayton, Georgia. Beautiful cream shade. And then we have KB Shimmer Bugs and Kisses. I love the name of this from that Halloween trio that had all the hollow and the flakies. Super, super gorge. So that is your uh, sixth giveaway today. And these are the five polishes in them. If you win and you can't remember, come back to this spot in the video. It looks like we're at 55, 55 minutes in and choose your top three picks. Okay. Last giveaway. Everybody get your number in. Ready, set, go. Okay. Mulan. <laughs> Was I singing for Mulan? Oh my gosh. I do love Mulan. Mulan is bay. Okay. Second coat of legend dot 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 wait for it dairy. This is a really pretty color and the blue shimmer is so strong. There's a little something on the nail. Oof. There. The blue shimmer is so strong. It's making it like an icy glow out of an orange polish, which I don't think you get very often, but I love orange and blue together. It's probably why she did it, because they are such great shades to wear together. Hi, Leanne. I'm just trying to say hi to everybody if I haven't seen you here yet. Hey, Iga. JoJo's in the house. Welcome. Helena, I saw you there, Marjan. <laughs> hey, Heather. Hey, Fern. Welcome. Cat's here. Awesome. Okay, everybody, let's get your numbers in. Just give me just like two more minutes, and I'm going to get the second coats of these on here. So this first one's from Glisten and Glow. The second one is an Essie polish. Guys, I'm still trying to track down the sample colors that I'm missing for that review for the Essentials. I'm still looking for that matcha green, I think, is the one I'm missing. Um... So, if you see them and you want to help a girl out, I'm actually still looking for, I think it's either two or three polishes from the matte ones before I can review them as well. And China Glaze begins shipping from um, Polish Pick, I think, on Monday or Tuesday. She said she was going to start shipping them, but there's one shade that won't be coming in until like the 11th or something like that. So, I'm going to have to wait to get all of them because you know I don't like to do incomplete reviews but China Glaze Spring she is a coming okay what do we think this Essie is a really pr pretty really fun very sparkly I don't think I love the two colors together but that's all right I don't always pick it quite right knitting update I have about a foot done of my baby blanket I started last Saturday says Michelle fantastic Lisa missed out on two OPI racks for $5. Rachel says the Target website. That's where I got them, Rachel, but the one I'm missing wasn't on the website. Uh, Christina, I got Mad World stuck in your head for a whole week, huh? Nicole likes Poor Unfortunate Souls, which we made last uh, two weekends ago at Swatch Fest. Okay, here's your stop. I like that polish too. You guys are so fun. I like anything Disney themed. All right. Final winner of the day. And guys, don't forget to email me. Marlene and um, who else did I said I need an email from last week? Victoria B. Email me from last week. And all my winners, winners, all my winners this week. Don't forget to email me. Okay. The number is 66. Is that one of the ones we can't label? I can't remember. 66. Closest to 66. They have it there, yeah. They have it online now? It shows it online? <gasps> Gloria, I'm going to go get it. Heather says Walmart had them all. She just got them. My Walmart had them and then took them away because they're cool like that. Hey, Tim. You literally just saw the green one at Target today? Oh, 
Okay, Marlene, let me see. I'm going to look at it right now because I'm not going to swatch anymore, I don't think. Let's see. I tried searching by your name. Just, oh, there you are. There you are, my goodness. Okay. All right, I've got your choices. Thank you, thank you, Marlene. I'm, I'm just gonna screenshot this. That'll make me find it even easier next time. And then Victoria. Do, 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 do. Here's the weird thing, Victoria. When I search your name, it literally brings up every email in my emails. Thinks that your name, Victoria, is included in every email. I don't get it. I don't get it. All right. I will just wait to see if I can get it. Your hubby is heating meat pie. Awesome. The kids are asking to play Mario Kart with you. Aw, Heather. See you later. Okay, here's the stop. Wait, did we already stop? Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. We didn't already stop yet. Okay. Did we? Oh, we did. We did already stop, and I am just spacing it. Thank you. Share. Yay, share. Fantastic. On the nose, too. Okay, writing you down, share. Congrats. And thanks, everybody, for coming. Have a super fantastic weekend. I will see you back next week. We're going to do ice cream nails. Tim thought that we should have named one of those um, small batches. We, we all scream, yes, queen. That's what he thought we should have named one, which, you know, almost made the cut. Thank you, T. Kelly, I was confused. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh, hey, Kayla, we missed you. Thanks everybody for coming. I'll see you next week. Like I said, we're gonna wa we're gonna swatch um, ice cream nails. We're gonna swatch new moonshine Manny. We're gonna swatch some more Essie, and and more. If I can get those simple colors, maybe we'll swatch the simple colors. Okay, I look forward to getting your emails. Quila, Tammy, Jesse, Liz, Vicky, and Cher which my phone thought it would be cute to um, auto-correct your name. No, thank you. Phone, behave or I'll kick you out. Okay. I always want ice cream bite-sized. See you later, friends. See you next week. Have a good weekend. And anybody who's watching the Super Bowl or playing in the Super Bowl, good luck. And have fun watching the Super Bowl. Now back to stamping by. Okay, Lisa. Can't